she's coming out, she's coming out, she's coming out. It's there. Oh. Alright, so this is number 31 in my RTS tutorial series. Um, I've gotten pretty much three doable requests that I'm going to be covering in this video. Uh, shit. Three doable requests that I will be doing in this video. Um, no, go away. Just lost my arrow. What the hell? Okay. Give me a sec. Um, three doable requests. Um, my request, uh, the requests were pretty much, uh, 3D animation, which I will not be doing, ever, um, because, um, there's so much software out there, I would need to teach it for a certain software. Not everyone's gonna like and use the same software, so I can't teach a certain software. If I could teach a certain software, it would have to either be Animator or Blender. And Animator stinks for animation, and I can't use Blender. So, 3D animation is not going to be happening. I'm going to not be teaching it. If you want to learn 3D animation so you can take 2D renderings for your graphics like I do, which is excellent, by the way, I really advise it. Um, that's the best way to get some nice lit artwork if you want light effects. Um, then what you should do is watch a blender tutorial series on YouTube hopefully uh, there are some pretty good ones that actually explain it you can find them uh, it's, it shouldn't be too difficult uh, second request was minimap uh, I'm gonna cheat on this one I know a cheap trick for a minimap but the numbers are always different so I'm gonna show you my numbers which is for an uh, I'm going to show you the numbers I think should work for a standard screen size I do not have a standard screen size um, and what we're gonna do is uh, if you remember view zero, view zero, oh shit, uh, view, what was it, alright, view two, I mean view one, what the hell did I do, alright, uh, view 2 is basically going to be a duplication of uh -huh. I don't get it never mind um, a duplication of view 2 except changed just so slightly we need to get the view starting off of this playable area and then expand it I multiplied it by 2, personally, um, which I just realized isn't going to work, because the room isn't that big. So don't make the view bigger than the room, please. Um, my room is 800 pixels, so I'm going to set it to, uh, no, I'm just going to make the room bigger. That's more, better for, for me. Um, okay, so these numbers should work on normal screen sizes. Uh, I don't have a really normal screen size, so uh, you may need to mess with the numbers. But what you need to do is get the playable area, and then I doubled it in all directions, lengthwise and widthwise, and that's what we put in the view in room width and height. For view in room, uh, x should be zero always, no matter what you're doing, and y should be however big your top GUI is. However uh, tall that is, that's what we put in y. So those numbers you can get easily. Um, this X, what the hell is this X? Okay. This X should be whatever this, no oh, these numbers should be ten times smaller than this. That way, it's mini. It's a mini map. It's amazing how that works. So I did it ten times smaller for 128 by 96. Then if you take your playable area, your screen size width, and minus this number, so our screen size is... 640. 640 minus 128 is 512. And, um, I don't know how the hell I got it. Oh, port on screen, uh, 64. This is the same as up here, however tall your GUI is. So the numbers change a lot. And the object following should be scrolling and, um, 
set it to the same as uh what the hell this one whatever this one is um whatever view it is the playable area view that moves around it uh might put mine at 320 and uh 208 that might work for you i don't know whatever you put on that other view all right so i'm just going to run this my other graphics are working fine why the hell is this not i missed my arrow all right gonna go ahead and play and you'll notice there's a little mappy thing up here and uh, we move down and we move right and you'll see that we get a much larger view we can see everything over to here and we can see everything to our left which is off a map like that rock and whatnot so we're gonna go over and now you can notice that the rock actually disappeared the rock um, disappeared from the map because we went so far over and if we go down enough uh... maybe i don't know if no i didn't make the room big enough to see the building again but we'll move the mini map over and on the mini map you'll see a blue rock before it shows up on the screen oh wait i gotta go up too there you go so there's a blue rock on the screen so uh, there you have it, uh, you can see the enemy too and all this other happy stuff. So you can see your stuff, all the big stuff, and it gets all over here. This is like a high def mini map I guess you could say. I'll work on making a simpler one where enemies are like a blocky red color something like that, we can do that too. But it's not going to happen now. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to do this. That's right, you can select it and deselect it from all the different happy like area zone things all the different directions for those of you who have been complaining you can't do it backwards the way you do that is by going into the global right released I mean left released going into the only block of code you have there and going into the second block of code if global dot cursor equals one then that we have a really long statement that I happen to change right here. You need to change it to this, and the way you do that is, the cheating way is, start off by chain, putting parentheses around the statement. So what you should have is, I'll set mine to what you should have, so you can duplicate it. If, self, in parentheses, self.x is greater than global.firstx, and two and symbols self dot y is less than mouse underscore x and parentheses then what you do is you hit space shift backslash backslash is that forward slash that's forward slash shift forward slash forward slash you get two uprights this means or and we take this whole long piece of code control c to copy paste it then we change the less than sign to a greater than sign, the greater than sign to a less than sign, and now we have it so it works in both directions. And you duplicate it for the if self.y is greater than whatnot. You just do the same exact thing. It takes like two seconds. Really quick fix. I can't remember why I didn't do this earlier. I just didn't get around to it. Um, and the way it works is it checks if it's one way in between x and y, or it's the other way. It checks whether or not it's greater than the lower value and lower than the greater value, but it checks it twice so that the greater value could actually be lower if that makes any sense. Um, it, it checks if it's in between the two X's first, and then it checks if it's in between the two Y's. So as long as you're within that square, you're okay. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you saw it work. It's how it works. The mini map cheat. Um, uh, request to come. What was that? Um, God, I forget. I've had a request for a while. I was planning on doing it. It's slipped my mind right now. If you have requests, make sure to post them. If you gave me a request and I forgot about it, as in you gave it to me a really long time ago, I apologize. Send it again. You're like priority number one. Um, really sorry about that. Um, otherwise, um, thanks for watching.